So basically here I'm connected to the web interface of the codec itself. So under the integration menu, I do have this submenu called in-room control. That's where I am right now. So I can from there launch the editor, which gives me the ability to create the graphical interface that I need on my tablet. So this is pretty easy. I have some uh, buttons. I can add a button from there. So I had a row. In that row, I had a widget. And in there, I can add, for example, a toggle switch. I can name my row, like test, for example, and I have an extra button. And this button has a widget ID, which is extremely important. I can modify it and do whatever I wish with it from a naming perspective, right? But at the moment, I don't need that one. I have already something. So let's work on what is created already. So you can recall the blind command, the light command, and some other sets that I pre-configured there. So if I select blind command and the buttons that are associated to it, you do see that I have a group of four buttons. Under the widget ID, I have a sub ID per button. The up is one, the down is two, down shade is three, down open is four, as an example. Those are the information that I'm going to use in my code to control the building management system. Right, this is done. Now let's go onto the, onto the code itself. So be aware, running uh, such a system, so controlling something that is external to the room system, so to the video system, requires um, a piece of software somewhere running. So I need a middleware. So in my case, I have the Raspberry Pi that is right now running. Um, and I can connect to this uh, from the PI to the codec itself. So here, the line which is commented at the moment, I can add my IP address, username, password, and then I can connect straight away to the codec using SSH. SSH is given to me via the Paramico library that is imported in that code. And then from there, I need to create a channel channel.send and the creating that channel gives me the ability from the Raspberry Pi, so from my middleware, to understand what the codec is telling me. So whenever this is done, I can go to the loop of my program. So let me go down. The rest is a little bit of uh, information and status control. I go down to the main loop. Here we go. And here you can see that I'm listening and I'm listening to the widget. Here is the which, uh, blind widget, for example. So you remember the name, it was called blinds. And I have a sub widget ID, which was one, means blinds up. And from there, I create a command, which points straight away to my building management system with a clear action. So I create my command and I send it straight away to the BMS. That's it. I can do it for the blinds. If I scroll down a little bit, I can do it for the lights. So again, a group of four buttons the um, widget called light and sub ID called one, two, three, and so on. And if I want to go a little bit further, if you remember the panel we had before, there is also uh, a light on uh, auto or light off, or let's say light auto on, light auto off. And if I do that, then I let the BMS uh, adjust the light depending on the outside light uh, of my building. So that's it. Um, this is a Python code, so running very easily on a Raspberry Pi or anything else. Anything else could be a Crestron server, it could be an AMX server or any sort of server. And from there, you can fully control your building management system.